touch the wheel. Oh, oh my god! Oh, Jesus, that truck was close. Okay. <laughs> so, uh. Originally released last year, the ES8 is NEO's flagship SUV. The company has rolled out a series of upgrades to its batteries, allowing for greater capacity. At the same time, it's increased its levels of autonomy. In June, NEO released its self-driving functionality. So in addition to seeing how far the car could drive, we decided to test out how well it could drive for itself. The battery has an NEDC range of about 420 kilometers. We decided to test it out. We went to Yangchenggu, which at this time of year is famous for its delicious crabs. The round trip is about 200 kilometers, so it gave us a good way to test out the car's abilities. Range anxiety is an issue with electric cars. This is one of the reasons why Neo has rolled out this 84 kilowatt hour battery. We found that the battery was efficient and performed much to our expectations. All right, so we are now leaving Jiaxing, and uh, the battery is currently has around 85% left. And uh, yeah, we're heading to Yancheonghu while Chris takes a break in the back, and I must go. <laughs> We also tested out Neo Pilot, the company's self-driving functionality. We tried it out on highways and we tried it out on urban roads. Both worked really well. It was able to change lanes by itself. It was able to monitor cars in front of it. And once, once we got over our initial anxiety over handing over some of the, the, the control to the vehicle, it actually became very convenient to use. Uh, we are currently using the autopilot to follow this Audi car in front. Um, I can use these buttons here to say how far I want to stay away from or close to the other car and these two here will, will control the speed. I can take my hands off and I'm still going and I can still use my hands here. So we're back in Shanghai after a day, eating crabs, testing a car, autopilot, or rather neopilot. Um, it's been good, the car's held up pretty well, we're on 100, we have 102 kilometers left, and I think the battery was, was pretty efficient. Uh, autopilot as well, or rather neopilot, worked really well, we used it we used it a lot and um, it was able to adapt to various driving environments, which was cool. So, yeah, <laughs> it's good to be back. <laughs> We're back at the office after returning the car to Neo. We approached this test from a consumer's perspective, hoping to get an idea of how well the car performs in the, on a daily basis. Overall, the battery held up pretty well. 
We did a lot of highway driving, which typically requires a lot more energy than driving on urban roads. Also, the autopilot function was able to perform equally well in both situations. But we did encounter a number of issues. Neo's in-car voice assistant required a number of attempts to try and wake it up and sometimes didn't even respond at all. Hi, Nomi. Hi, Nomi. Hey, Nomi. Hi, Nomi. Hey. We also had issues with the navigation system and eventually resorted to calling Neo's support hotline to try and troubleshoot the issue. But it's not navigating. Eventually we pulled over, turned off the car for a couple of minutes and it reset the system. While not specific to Neo, we also had a lot of issues with charging infrastructure. We used Neo's app to find charging stations, which are typically operated by a number of different companies. We found that drivers who weren't charging their cars had parked in these charging bays. We also found that a number of the faster chargers were broken. In another instance, chargers that were marked as being operational 24 hours a day were behind closed doors. Nonetheless, the S8 was a fun car to drive, and it's a great benchmark for other reviews that are to come in the future. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and sign up for our bi-weekly Drive IR newsletter where we discuss everything to do with electric vehicles and autonomous cars in China.